May the peace be with you. You are the missionary to save this world. May we restore 10,000 disciples through a blessing. Thank you for graceful praise today. The lyrics of the praise, all the tribes, until the day they hear the gospel, God is restless. Until the day that all the tribes listen to the gospel, God fulfills the words. The conclusion of the God of God. All the tribes, 237 uh, evangelization. The people of God, you and I, we need to hold on to God's conclusion as our conclusion. Life conclusion, if it's in the 237, saving 237 uh, nations, may our conclusions be in the God's conclusion. All your family's business and you, God is going to be with you. If God's conclusion is to save 237, then how can we enjoy of saving 237 nations? Last week we shared the message as we start new year. Every day, every week, there, it is the message that we need to confirm. Always be with a complete word of gospel. As you start new year, how can you how can you be guided? How should you be guided? You pray for that, right? God has given us the complete answer. Always accompany with complete word of the gospel. If then, you will be raised at the risk of and you and I will be entered into the blessing of saving 237 nations and raise us as a witness. When you look at the Bible, regardless of environment, or circumstances, those who were with God, accompanied with God, wherever they were, they were raised as, as a witness and enjoyed the blessing of the seven. Do not look for it somewhere else. You need to find out the uh, evidence and individuals from the Bible. We can be in different situations or environments, but our environments are not important. But we need to know that the gospel that God has given us is the com is complete one. And whether you are with it or accompany com with it, that's what matters. For this year, every day, confirm that God has given you the complete word of the gospel and may you enter into this blessing today. Is at the heart towards 237 nations. We can we do not simply say to save 237 nations. If we live according to God's method, the rightful answer is the heart towards 237 nations. Because it, they are so, they are so familiar with it. The people live with what is method. What's the method of, method of the world? Live diligently, live good, and do your best. Yes, it is important. But if you live that way, even if you live thousand lives, they will be failure. It's a one life only. But even if you were given thousand lives, if you live with worldly method, it is the life of fail. 
At this time, we should not live with worldly method, but with God's method. To live with God's method, God has sent Christ and save us. To live with, according to with God's method, God made us children of God. And the children of God means that God is going to take care of us. Completely. If you are able to establish the life with God's method, God is going to take care of everything every day. A company with complete word of the gospel and and confirm that if you are guided by the word of God. I will share this later on, but we are so used to live with worldly method. Unknowingly, you will follow. Eventually, you will face destruction. Moment by moment, confirm if it's God's will. It is, is it the God's method? If you live with God's method, God is going to give you answers to save 237 nations with it. What is God's method then? It might feel difficult, but you need to find out. What is three? It's a trying God. If you enjoy the blessing of mystery of the triune God, and you will restore five strengths, what is nine? It's a nine fundamental blessings, blessing of thrones. From the blessing of throne, you will, God has given us three blessed, uh, lives, the three overcomes, and God is going to give us three blessings. The spiritual, nine spiritual blessings, if you enjoy them, yeah, we will be able to save three ages. It, at this age, not to live with what you method. If there's a God's method, it's three, five, three, five, nine, three. If you really enjoy trying God, if we enjoy the blessing of throne, you will be able to save three ages. Then naturally you will be enter into blessing of saving 237 nations. That's the, that's the only God's method. The, it seems the Bible talks about many things, but no. God has prepared tremendous spiritual blessings and called us. What are the uh, spiritual blessings? Three blessings of trying to God, five strengths. And for the three ages, that's the most important message in the Bible. God has prepared all of these and called us. But believers, they walk of faith, regardless of all the all these uh, blessings prepared for them. God's conclusion is to 237 nations, if then they don't enjoy this. Today's scripture reading, we, we read uh, chapter 13, and we skip chapter 14, and we are in chapter 15. In chapter 13, it, it talks about idol worship. In chapter 14, it talks about the foods. At the end of uh, chapter 14, it talks about the problem of mater uh, material. It talks about time. And in chapter 15, at the end, it talks about the most important thing, worship. What is God is trying to tell us? The lives we live, 
We need to live different than with a different method than non-believers. The purpose of living is not to live well in land of Canaan. To become an individual to save all the tribes. In chapter 13, 14, 15, the core of these messages. You need to live different from non-believers. In other words, if you are children of God, you need to live with uh, God's method and what has God has given you. As we start this year, you may give a thought how you will live holding on to different things or wrong things, then you don't live with that, but with to live with God's method. I bless in the name of the Lord, you, you may live with it. First, to live with God's method. God's conclusion is 237 nations, to have the hearts towards 237 nations. Then first, you need to enjoy blessing of saving yourself with the gospel. You need to enjoy the blessing of saving yourself with the gospel. Chapter 15, verse 15, it says, Remember that you were slaves in Egypt, and the Lord your God redeemed you. Remember, the Lord your God redeems you. What does that mean? We were slaves and we were freed and became a ch uh, ch children of God. Remember that the Lord redeemed you every day. First thing, you need to enjoy that the gospel saved you. If you save yourself with the gospel, all the surroundings don't matter to you. If you don't save yourself with the gospel, even if you are in the good environment, that in good environment will not be blessing to you. The problem is, you need to enjoy the blessing to save yourself with the gospel. People still say whether answers are there or not. It is okay if you don't have answers right now. If you enjoy the blessing of saving yourself every day, then you will be standing in a spot where God is giving you answers. As you start this year, you need to hold on to this as your tradition. Every day, when you start every day, you uh, have five minutes of meditation. For those who don't pray, five minutes are long. It is really long. If you cannot do five minutes or even for one, one or two minutes, you need to have time of meditation. That's how you can save yourself with the gospel. Even for two minutes, have time of meditation. Then because you're a child, uh, child of God, your spirit will live. Your spirit will, uh, will live. If you enter into the two minutes of meditation, the lights of creation will pour upon you. Genesis 1.13 That there be light, the light will be upon you. Why this world is uh, turning into mental hospital? Because the light of creation is not there. You need to remember this quietly for two minutes. At least for two minutes, not the worldly meditation. If you have the true meditation, your spirits will be uh, revived and the light will be upon you. And then you will have limitless power 
And then restore the image of God every single day. What's the difference between uh, us, uh, we and the animals? You may have pets it at your place. They are not in the. They are not. They don't have the image of God. But you and I. We are image of God with limitless power. If you have time, the spirit will receive power, and then you will have plus your, your spirit being revived. How many minutes? Five minutes? Okay. If you cannot do five minutes, at least two minutes. So your spirit will revive, and and your brain will. We like as well. There are so many people suffering with quick temper, anger, and uh, bad temper. Scientifically proven, it is because the oxygen, the lack of oxygen supply in the body, in, in, in the brain. It will cause mental illness. That's uh, it is sci scientifically proven fact. If you qu quietly meditate five minutes, your brain will revive. In Genesis 2 7, it says he breathed his uh, into his, his nostrils and received the Holy Spirit as you breathe. On them said, receive the Holy Spirit. In our every, in our every breath, your brain will revive. If you quietly meditate, your brain will revive. These are the unseen things in our eyes. That's the end there. Your your body will revive if you if you. For five minutes of your day, your body is on fire. Acts 2 17. In the last days, God says he, he, he will pour out spirits on all people. It means that he will, uh, the blessings will be visible. Five minutes of your day, as you start this new year. Hold on, to, uh, hold it as your uh, tradition, and your spirit will revive, your brain will, and your body will revive. And the blessing after that is, and you will be able to see the future. You will be able to see the future. Gen uh, Acts 2 17. Your sons and daughters will uh, prophecy, and your young men will see visions. We will see future. That's why that's why the problems of today is not problems anymore because you see the future. You may feel the crisis now, but it is not. The conflict of today it, it is everywhere. Conflicts are everywhere. It is always there and it's everywhere. But as your spirit and brain and body revive right, through five minutes of meditation, you will see future. You will be able to see the answers of, the answers of uh, problems today. The conflict, you'll be able to see the, uh, the new one that you need to do. After you see the future and looking at the crisis today, it's not a crisis anymore. Those who enjoy this place, it, 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 they are the uh, spiritual summit. If you become a spiritual summit, you will to see everything. If you go on to the top of the mountain, you will see everything underneath, uh, uh, below you. Through five minutes of meditation, revive your spirit, brain, and body, and see the future, and all that. And, and see the answer or conclude answers to the problems, crisis. We call them spiritual summit. The important thing is, if you stand as a uh, spiritual summit, 
where through five minutes of meditation, then you will get to see, uh, you will see yourself, the Word of God match with you. Many people say the Word of God does not match with them. It doesn't match with the field. Yes, correct. But if you stand at the top of uh, the top, uh, on the top as a spiritual summit, that you will see that the word does not match with you. Do not. You do not simply listen to the word. You listen to the word as a, the word of fulfillment. God tells it in great points to us through His Word. God reveals what His plan is. And as, 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 a as a method of fulfillment, God gives words in advance. He doesn't make us realize after what uh, things happen. He gives us words before He fulfills. With the proper message, you will be able to see the, uh, the past presentation of your life. And then you will be able to see why God has given you the words through the puppet. God came to this world to fulfill what He promised to Adam. And even now, He is still fulfilling that. God came to, came to fulfill what He promised to Adam. And He is, he is still fulfilling that. What the word, the promise to Adam is Genesis 3.15. The offspring woman will crush the head of Satan. For this, God came and God is still fulfilling His promise. Why did He come to us? If we live as it is, the life will be hard. We will, will suffer, we will get sick, and we will die. He came to give us rest. As Matthew 11, 28, Come to me, all, of, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. The lies in Genesis 3, 15, because of 12 Satan problems, the burdens will be heavier and heavier. But in Matthew 11, 28, he said he will give us rest. With the words given, he will give us rest. And last week, the most important part is holding on to the covenant, uh, God's pro uh, covenant of promise. If you stand at a spiritual summit, you are able to see, and then the, you will see the ma God's uh, words match with you. But re uh, realistically, when we walk out the store, you forget the words that you receive. You need to pray the word of God become your thought. God is going to fulfill what He promised. If so, the word of God. We pray so that the word of God, uh, word of God become your thought. What should you be praying for? The public message be your thought. The word from public, if it's imprinted in you through prayer, if it is rooted in the field and it become nature in your business. People tend to go very more beneficial or familiar or more convenient. That's the that's the nature of people. That's why people follow their own thoughts and public opinion. If you follow them, you shouldn't. You need to follow the word of God. When you hold it to the word of God. Pray so that the word of God becomes your thought. There's so many noises in the church. There are noises of people in the world 
but their noises in church that we shouldn't be listening to, their voice of uh, people, their voice of, of the world in church. And the voices are, are they correct? No, is it? There are so many uh, wrongful voices. If we want, if we want not to be swept by them, what should we do? Pray so that the word of God become your thoughts. Then the word of Satan, word of people, you will be able to distinguish them. Then the answer that you will have is to stand as a witness. Joseph. Genesis chapter 39, verse 2. The Lord was with Joseph and he prospered. What does it mean by he prospered? He did not lack in any aspect. That's why he didn't fall into temptation. He was prospered. He didn't fall into temptation before him. How did he establish the life of pros uh, prosperity? The covenant from God. He drained the covenant of God. That's how much imprint he had in him. In every day in life, he didn't fall before temptation. He did not shake before it, and he was able to succeed. In Genesis chapter 37 and 1 to 2, that's the covenant that, that God given to Joseph. It became a dream, personal dream to him. It was the words were imprinted him. That's why he did not shake. In David in Psalm 23, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not be in one. Same thing. The Lord who was his shepherd, he did not, he shall not, he was not in one. All the, the conflict, all the, the King Saul built an army to kill David. All, all this crisis, he did not fall because he confessed the Lord was his uh, shepherd. Pray so that the word of God is imprinted in you and enjoy a blessing of prosperity. That's how you save. That's how you save yourself. First, five minutes of your uh, of your time of meditation, revive your spirit, brain, body, and stand as a spirit summit. And from then, when you listen to the word, it will be different. Your attitude of listening to the word will be different. You don't simply listen to the word. You will, be able to, you will have strength to hold on to the word of God as yours. And, you, and, and then the blessing of prosperity. Not in lack in any aspect. You will raise or stand as a witness. May all this blessing be upon all of you listening to the message today. Second, if you become a witness, naturally, two, saving 237 nations is what counts. You don't save 237 nations by simply seeing it. If you have evidence from God, and it's connected to, to saving 237 nations, the, uh, the teachers in Sunday school, in your department, if you stand as a witness, God is going to save you, uh, send you to the top to save the field. God is sending you, that's sending you to the top, perfect uh, spot. If you receive one answer, it will be connected to two generations. 
You know what is a blessing of throne? If you receive the blessing of throne with the power of transcending time and space, you will shine the light to the two thirty seven nations. You raise as a witness the answer I raise uh, answer as a raising as a witness. It is connected to the blessing of saving two thirty seven nations. We need to raise as a witness to save 237 nations. What happens in the world? More advanced, more hardships that they have. More advanced, the people are more difficulties the people face. Look at the uh, countries in advanced countries. The United States, are they happy? Even young adults, uh, they, uh, they, they have lost the young uh, uh, young people through drugs and crime. What about uh, about Japan? House by house, they are suffering with a mental illness. How about Europe? The Germany is known as the uh, happy country, and the number of uh, suicide is increasing. It means the following the world the met worldly method will end in destruction. That's why we should not fo follow the worldly method. We need to follow God's method. It may seem. It may seem that we do not have answers right away, but we need to follow the uh, God's method. What is following the God's method? It is holding on to the covenant of, uh, of God. And in John 3, 9, 3, that's how we uh, live, walk of faith with following the word uh, God's method. When you look at the Bible, Abraham, Abraham rejected the flow of the world and he chose the God's method. In Genesis chapter 12, 1, God promised Abraham there will be no people who can overcome you. Abraham chose the worldly method. He, will, he said, I will bless those who bless you, and whoever curses you, I will curse. Following the worldly method, do not be misunderstood that you will succeed. At the end, it is destruction. It may, it may be difficult right now, but Follow the word of God's method. Genesis 13. The conflicts between uh, Abraham and Rod. God separated Abraham and Rod. And Abraham said to Rod, If you choose left, I will choose right. Choose what you like. And I will choose what's left. And Rod, he chose what seems to be good, and he chose Sodom and Gomorrah. But what was the result? And the war broke out, and Rod's family were ca captured, as uh, captured in Sodom and Gomorrah. And Abraham, he yielded everything. Genesis 13, 14, the Lord said, God said, lift up your, lift up your eyes from where you are and look north and south, east and west, and I will give the land that you see. The Lord seemed uh, very smart. He thought that he chose the background to live well. He chose, he chose the worldly method. But at the end, what happened? He was captured. But Abraham. He chose God, uh, God's method. God said, lift up your eyes from where you are. Look north and south, east and west. Uh, 
you need to choose God's method. Genesis 14, it's a war broke out. Abraham brought three 18 soldiers and saved uh, Lot. You saved uh, Lot. And King of Sodom and Gomorrah and requested, You have won the word. Take all the rewards with you. The, the word message was at the time, at the time was take all the rewards if you uh, want the word. God Abraham said, I will not take pennies from you. Because he had a faith that God was going to, God was going to uh, bless him. He had a mind that he will follow God's method. How did God bless him? Genesis 15 and 11, 1. I am your shield. I am very great reward. God is going to be our shield and uh, protect us. And you are very great reward. reward. The God gave himself to us, to Abraham, who chose God's method. God himself gave, God gave himself to Abraham. Do not follow the worldly method, but may we follow God's method. What's the best method? It is holding on to the method of kingdom of God. The sufferings of the world, they are all the same. It's 12 problems through Genesis 3. All the people are fell into this. A thousand problems. The solution is only Christ. If you have real solution because wherever you are, you will be witness. Whoever you meet, the door of evangelism will open. The languages are different, cultures are different. But, but the true mission is evangel evangelize with, with only Christ, pure gospel. Not simply uh, preaching the gospel, the pure gospel, only Christ, that's the true mission. With any culture that Satan created, you need to remember and confirm that it is the history of darkness. And you need to hold on to the fact that only gospels can save people. What happens? The problems of the world exist uh, already, and people repeat those problems. Even ages change. Spiritual problems are the same. In any age, even ages change. Spiritual problems aren't the same. That's why solution is always Christ. The race, the culture, the languages may be different. But the gospel is only Jesus becomes Christ. That's why the, all, all the countries, all the ages, the greatest failure are those who don't know the gospel. The true successor is the one who knows the gospel. If so, I believe that God has raised you and called you as a true successor of this age. We have listened to the pure gospel. We already know and restore the fact that only pure gospel can save people. And God has guided us and led us to save 237 nations. I will conclude the words. Then, knowing the fact that only Christ is needed in this world, 
and have the hearts towards 237 nations. God has called us because God has called us a true successor. The reason God called us is 237 nations. Hearts towards 237 nations. Prepare your vessel. In Deuteronomy chapter 15, verse 1 to 11, and help the poor, help the needy, and release the man and woman. What does that mean? You will become great tribes to save the world. And you need to prepare a great big vessel. Hold on to the God's promise and prepare your vessel. Break down all of your frames. Acts 11, 1 to 11, uh, Jerusalem Church. They were holding on to traditions and frame. God did not allow the blessing of saving, saving 237 nations to church in Jerusalem, but to Antioch church. God's conclusion is 237 nations. Because, because of that, God has given us the blessing of throne. We need to break down our frames and the hearts to store and vessel to store 237 nations we need to prepare. God's uh, wish is to is, is word evangelism because we cannot do. God promised that he, he will be with us from his throne. Why do we have to save? Because we have to save 237 nations. Break down your frames Prepare your vessels for heart towards 237 nations. The Friday message, we had a forum with our ministry. Hana Church started uh, missions in Japan first. And we sent two missionaries to Japan. Two missions in Japan. And we were able to restore the hearts for other countries as well. At that time, Japan missions and our head pastors, he said he will do Japan mission, uh, missions in Japan. Our people, our deliverers did not understand at first. There, there are many pastors in the city of Tegu. When we said we were going to do Japan mission, they shook their heads. Why Japan? At the time, the currency of yen, uh, value of uh, currency of yen was much higher compared to one. And we had to send more money to missionaries in Japan than we pay our pastors here. Who pays more to the missionary, uh, missionaries than head pastor of your own church? As he, as, as our head pastor, senior pastor prayed, he concluded to do a Japan mission. Basically, he broke the frames of people at the time. When I heard the message, I was able to see the, uh, the history God has led our church. We had a 50 year anniversary last year. We, we have we have we started to prepare for 237 missions. He broke the frames through uh, mission, uh, Japan, uh, missions in Japan. And God is breaking our frames for 237 nations. And God has called you and I, our church, the center of saving 237 nations. If we do not 
break our frames like uh, church, church in Jerusalem. What we are preparing right now is we are spending a lot of money to changing uh, for this face-to-face -face and non-face-to-face -face era. I'm seeing as an important answer. You need to prove for this change, uh, break down your frame. God said, I will say to the seven nations, to you individuals, 70 uh, disciples, the lay leaders, you will have ministry in our church, inside or outside the church. They're, God has raised you as lay leaders. Do not miss 17 fields and the answers of, uh, from the 17 fields. We will be connected to the 37 nations. God is preparing the vessels for to the seven nations. Restore this in your hearts and pray. All great. It's not something else. Just realize it and holding on to the holding on to the covenant that God is the one who is going to work and fulfill. I bless in the name of the Lord that you will all of you enter into this blessing. God, we give you thanks. May this year be uh, the year we save ourselves with that answer is to save 237 nations.